il y a un petit problème d'éclairage, je ne vois pas mon... Excellency, the floor is yours. Agency to have emerged out of the formation of the United Nations. And it is wholly appropriate that we have all come to Paris from far and near to celebrate this momentous milestone of the 75th anniversary. Ghana was not there at that seminal ceremony in London. As we were entering at the time, the active phase of our struggle for freedom from British colonial rule. It has since been 63 years of fruitful, cordial cooperation, and the benefits are evident. Just as we were the first country south of the Sahara to gain our independence, Ghana's distinguished diplomat, Patrick Seddow, was the first African to be elected chairperson of the executive board of UNESCO in 1983. We were also the first African country to have a female representative on the executive board in the person of another distinguished diplomat, Theresa Scrigner Scott. I say this to demonstrate how proud we are of our membership of UNESCO. From the training of science teachers for our schools in 1965, UNESCO has helped shape many policies in our educational sector, including the recent national teacher policy, the science, technology, and innovation policy, and the mainstreaming of biosphere conservation plans in our national development agenda. At the time when there was only one media house in Ghana, needless to stay, state-owned, UNESCO helped establish private independent newspapers and radio stations, contributing to the making of a vibrant and free media, the envy today of many on the continent and indeed in the world. With Ghana serving as the unfortunate location of seven, for 75 percent of the slave dungeons built on the west coast of Africa to facilitate the barbaric, inhumane transatlantic slave trade, we've able to, been able to preserve significant numbers of these world heritage sites with the assistance of UNESCO. In contemporary times, UNESCO has been able to redefine and reposition itself to address the present needs of the, of the world. When the pandemic of COVID-19 struck, it assisted several countries, including Ghana, to help ensure that the education of hundreds of thousands of children was not truncated. Just as UNESCO believes that education is a human right for all throughout life, so do we in Ghana. Through the free senior high school policy, we are committed to every Ghanaian child having access to a minimum of senior high school education. Tertiary education has also seen a major boost in infrastructural development, with some 60 public tertiary education institutions now able to accommodate our fast expanding student population. Excellencies, UNESCO's mandate has broadened considerably beyond what the founding members may have envisaged. But it is important that its niche is not comp compromised in the drive to embrace its ever-widening fields of competence. With this said, I commend the dynamic Director General's efforts at a strategic transformation of this organization and I ask that we all lend her the necessary support. UNESCO is its member states. This anniversary is ours too. 
It has been 75 years of multilateral solidarity, and we must continue for the next 75 years to deepen our cooperation even further in the areas of education, natural sciences, and human sciences, culture, communication, and information to achieve the future we want and leave no one behind. Long live UNESCO, long live the United Nations. I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President Nana Akufo-Addo of Ghana. Thank you so much.